and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 3. I'm your host, the RPG guy. Um, and let's take a look here. Um, we've got about 10 grand. Debating in my head if I want to buy anything. Uh, yeah, we'll buy some more antidotes. Even out our inventory here. Let's grab two call whistles. Just so we have them. Let me think here. Um, do 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 do. <clears throat> we can loot the town, which I don't think we've done yet. So let's do that. Let's, I think we talked to her. So it's been a couple days since my last uh, recording uh, and whatnot. I was out of town for a little bit for work. And now it's me trying to remember. Okay, I guess I did get what was up here. Uh, Should have been a. Uh, Should have been a Gimmel coin, I think, or a Heelberry, one of the two. All right. So let's go ahead and kind of snoop around here. So I want free stuff. Yay! There's not much for us to invest in at the uh, Armsmith at the moment. I. We can't really level up anybody's attack yet, which is kind of my point. Find an old abandoned mine shaft. A pebble falls into the darkness, and it echoes endlessly down. Hmm. Looks like this one. Looks like this one's finished. I could bust down the barricade, but I'd hate to get trapped in a cave-in. Yeah, that would really suck, man. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a little burnt out. I'm still kind of jet lagged, uh, for reasons reasons nothing there I don't think there's anything back there uh, we know there's gonna be something in here leave barrels of wine stored among mining equipment it seems this is the saloon's wine cellar Hmm, barrels of wine. I'd hate to be the one who has to lug these all the way over to the saloon. Alright, let me see. Where have we not checked? Over here? There we go. Sweet. Dragon Fossil. Dragon Fossil. Reorganize that just a wee bit. All right, let's see here. So now we need to pretty much get up here at this point to grab some of the other goodies. Now you'll see this area over here. Unfortunately, I don't believe we can reach that with our tools. I don't think any of our tools can reach that, but it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, though, it can't. Yeah. So we'll need the means to... Yeah, so you can't jump it yet. So... Ooh, did I give some of that away? You can't jump it yet. But we know it's over there for later. We get a name tag. Yay. Yeah. that check out what's over here I don't believe there's anything in here you can't reach that barrel so there's no point in checking there and nothing in there maybe maybe the barrels out here okay so the only other building we haven't checked inside of I think is the arms shop There we go. Let's do some price checking here. <clears throat> so the upgrade cost is actually thirteen five hundred, huh? So that means it's the same for Clive. So in order to even, in a sense, do more for damage, we, we, we need more cash. And I don't think we have too much here to spend. We've got seven. 
ice gems, and I think that's really it. So hurting on, hurting on money a little bit, but nothing that's like impossible to work with, because we're gonna start getting a lot more cash going forward, um, in a bit, in a bit, and I'll explain that as it becomes relevant. Um, we need to talk to. Here we go. Uh, as run down as this town is, the shrine to the north is even worse. I'm not sure which got run down first, and quite frankly, I don't care. We have to do something about our town, even if it's something little. I consider this my job. So he gives us some information about where we need to go next. I don't believe anybody else really does. <clears throat> Boy or girl! We don't get many visitors here in these parts. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. I think we're good, though. Let's go ahead and leave the town. Do 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 do. And since we'll be in this area, I think, for at least a little while, we'll use one of our delicious call whistles. And let's move. Now, for, first and foremost, we found this earlier, kind of on accident. We need to actually spend a few minutes here, just saying. We need to spend a few minutes here. And the reason being was there was a chest we missed out on when we were first here. Because we didn't have the means to get it. And it is literally, in every way, shape, and form, the only reason you would ever come back here. <clears throat> well, there is another reason, but I'm just saying in general. To, for the general consensus, is this is you're coming here for a universally good thing. But the negative is you got to re-navigate. you got to... There we go. And we get the migrant seal. Another migrant seal. So yeah, that's really the reason to come back and get that done big time. Because who doesn't want a freaking migrant seal? Just saying. Okay, let's get back on our wild stallion. I believe what we're looking for. Ah, and there it be. Glimmering emblem. Yay, we found it. But this is what we were looking for. But without the clue, we couldn't find it. Well, do you sense anything? No, not I. I do not even feel the sense of discomfort brought on by Janus, or the sense of exhaustion when the guardian energy is depleted. Maybe we're the first ones here. No, I don't think so. You sense something? No, no. I don't sense anything. That's the problem. The sensation we're supposed to feel when the Guardian's life voice energy flows. You mean to say they've already done their deed here? I don't know. I hope not. Let's go. We have to find out what's happened here. We do. We do. We do. Da, 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 da. As I just screwed it up. Jumping off the thing like an idiot. Well, what we need to do, first and foremost, yoink. And we do want to fight stuff again. I, I have made it an effort to avoid some battles, but look at that. We might even be lucky to kind of use magic on all of them. We'll see. We'll see if it'll actually work. But they're so plentiful. So plentiful that we, this would be a way to earn some money. I'll tell you this, though, guys. Once Gallows hits 25 money, there is a way to make money no longer an issue. Because uh, when he hits 25, you just have him extension blast as elemental attack. And every and then you find places in the game where, there's te where enemy groups are very large, like this. And you literally just make mountains of cash back. Oh, that's right. That doesn't always work. There we go. I must target willpower. Sleep. He doesn't really actually have an elemental attack, so we'll just let him... 
we'll have him sit out this round, but we'll, normally we'll just have him regular attack to move things along, I think. Because he can't really get an elemental attack off, because he's not really any ele his the summon that the, the guardian that he has on him is actually not really an element that has an offensive skill. I think he's darkness. El he's a, he has darkness as his elemental affinity, but which doesn't help him against these guys. So yeah, something to be weary about. And these little pecker woods are pretty fast too. But you know, as you can see, not not a big problem. Handled it pretty good. And booby trap is set. Who's got the best? Oh my god, everybody's got terrible. Uh, I guess we'll just use Clive. He has the most resistances, so we probably got nothing. Yeah, when the treasure chest explodes like that, you get nothing, which really is en enraging. That's why it's better to go against those slimes, uh, because they their chest is usually just poison, not explosive. So, just saying. So open says me. All right. So this one is not that unique, but it is neat to see it. It is a mirror puzzle. You know, we'll skip the battle for the moment. Let's see, our so our migrant seal is so high, the enemies aren't really registering much, which is good. Which is a good thing. So we'll go ahead and move all this into position. Gotta like, gotta love mirror puzzles, you know? And we are surprised and ambushed by a bunch of buttholes who constantly are missing, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Gatling. Toast. It says Gallows has so much HP. He's good. He makes a good defender, even though his defense isn't the highest. He just tends to have the most HP. That that may not even change that much by end game, mainly because of the guardians that we want to put on Gallows. Will have a lot to do with the reason why uh, his HP is always really high. Still got one left over. Does it look like they all literally ganged up on Gallows? No, <laughs> blew up again. Jesus. At least we got the gems from it. And anything else that was in it. And it looks like Gallows XP-wise is actually going to be uh, the newest high-level character as... Uh, Clive has, has Gallows has been getting a lot of uh, three point ones and or one point ones and stuff. That's just something that's normal. There's a way to increase the XP counters, but a lot of it's kind of random and, and luck based. And usefulness of character has a lot to do with that too. All right, so we get three Gela card. Yep, yeah, that's right. We came all this way for freaking Gela card. Um, I believe we can drop down here, which would be faster than going back the way we came. We want to go, I believe we want to go this way next. Because we want to get the treasure. 4200 bucks, nice. There's an upgrade right there for Clive. I would probably be more inclined to give it to Clive, because there would be other things that we want Jet to do in battle at, at times. Not all the time, just once in a while, for the most part. And you. And there it is. Well, darn it. How do we get through? Bam! Probably should have fought that fight, but whatever. It's probably goblins. Oop.
mini carrot. I don't believe there's anything up here. Yeah, no. So, getting some goodies. That's what's important. Regain the crystal's luster and the gate will open. Oh, you know what? I think I done goofed, didn't I? I did do, I did done goof. I needed to actually go up these things. Darn it. Alright, my bad. My bad. Hopefully we don't have to redo much for puzzles. Oh, yeah, we gotta re... Oh, no, the door's already open. Okay. Yeah, psh. I was more focused on getting the treasure than I was actually solving the primary puzzle. And a freaking fight. Again. Probably gobs. Yep. Ooh, a little mix of everything. You're so depressed. Ow, 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 ow. Let's do that. That. Get rid of the fairy lights because they I think they have the potential to do the most damage with bright blast. Or at least magically oriented so there's no chance of dodging it. Whereas the gob gob attacks can be dodged. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, they're really going after Clive pretty hardcore. What? God damn it. If Clive defend. And that should kill off that dude. In the bottom of this water. There we go. That's what I like to see. Whole bunch of gem gems to give us money. All right, I believe. There we go. We got to do that to the other side. Hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't, we're going to skip battles at this point just because I, I done goofed. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. But we'll get it all sorted out in due course, of course. And there we go. Now, I remember when I was younger, I had a hard time figuring this out because, like, I couldn't really see the window. And then I realized, oh, maybe that's a window. But, yeah, there's not really much information to confirm or, un in you know, not confirm it. So you got to kind of play that card a bit and hope that you know what you're doing. We'll get some of these. And we get a lucky card. One of these. Yeah, so as soon as we get off the button, it closes. So we'll need to... No, we'll need to uh, handle this accordingly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Grab the box. No, grab... There we go. Pretty much what needs to be done here... That'll open the door, and then we fight. 
<laughs> this dug luckily this dungeon is not that long. It's just am being ambushed is what's taking this a lot longer. But luckily we got recovery, some recovery. Um Nice. That means Clive can lock on. Let's do Fairy Light. Actually, no. Let's Gat. No, Gatling. Well, is Gatling gonna get me a kill? It might. Uh. Problem is, let's just do cremate instead. And then pressure. Lock on to Hobgoblin B. Reason we're doing lock on, I want to make sure we kill the Hobgobs. Something needs to, every character needs to kill something this round. Jet's the most least likely to actually do it at the moment. So here's hoping. Jet doesn't have enough FP to get Accelerator going either. Let's just see here. Well, at least we lucked out there. Gallows levels, and uh, everybody else is getting a little bit closer. Clive is actually pulling away from Virginia, which is fine. That's kind of to be expected. And ambushed again. We're just not getting lucky with any of this. Oh gosh, she almost died right there. She's probably gonna go down, but I'm not a bit. I'm not gonna worry about it. You might say, but you you don't have a lot of uh, revive fruits. I'm not I'm not that worried about that. Like a lot of people would freak out about revive fruits and how many you have. I'm not that much of a person who freaks out over stuff like that. There's much more heinous things that can happen in this game than not than running low on revive fruits. I assure you. Probably gonna die here. Yup. Now we gotta do this. Uh, worse, bad, worse, bad. Well, they're all ter pretty bad, terrible, so. I don't even know why I bothered. Oh well. We get a nice gem and two heal berries, so. That was actually worth the damage. However, Virginia is not fully healed, so we'll use one on her. If anybody's gotta be fully healed before combat, it's pretty much gonna be her. Now, my concern here is rather simple. Hmm. Do do do. No. How? How do we do this? See what I'm talking about now. The puzzles are starting to get a little, a little more difficult. Oh, you know what? I know what I did wrong. Hold on. I know what I did wrong. We need to reset the puzzle. 
do 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 we actually need to do this and it'll all make sense in just a minute because we have to get over here first I've... like so and we come across There we go. And then... Here. There. Woo! Pretty rough. There, just just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not. Alright. Keep moving. Growth egg. Yeah, I know. I snaked that one out, didn't I? <laughs> and for us to actually get to the next area, we got to move this over here. And we're good. Get the switch. There we go. Like, get the switch. Get it. Obviously, we got another one we got to do. And we'll head up. And for the most part, there's really only two more chests left in this dungeon, so yay for that. Just in case. We only have 15 vitality. We want. We don't want to get into unnecessary fights unless we have to. This is another mirror, I think. Uh, not a mirror direct, but like a, a mirror room where we the block above moves with the block to the bottom. Nice. Excuse me, another one of these, huh? Uh, but as you can see, that is not correct. Which would mean that... Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I know what's wrong. One, two. Really quick, I want to just make sure there's no goodies in there. No, okay. So, yeah, the, you, you would not know what's going on with the room unless you shattered the glass and realized that there is one box too many. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a dirty trick. But it's kind of what they were going for. And the reason it's good to do this, and if there's a speedrunner out there, this is probably the best way to grab chests. Because it keeps you from having to walk over there, and when you're moving, you're more likely to be attacked by enemies. So, or get random counters. So maybe that's a speedrun strat. I don't know. I don't know any, but really, I've never heard of any groups that speedrun Wild Arms games. And there might be a reason for that. But, uh, I haven't looked very hard either. So if there is a, a speedrun for Wild Arms games, that is kind of cool. Because they are notoriously hard and long. Just like something else I know about. 
It appears we're it appears we're too late. Everything is in shambles. Oh god, somebody like splooged all over this place. Why? Why? Why would they do this? Why do those people plan to what do those people plan to do with the guardian energy? What do they mean by transforming the planet? Don't worry. There must be something we can do. Like murder some bitches. By the power of the green stuff that is coming towards my hand. We get flash hit acquired. The guardians must have mustered its last strength and left this medium for us. This situation might be bad, but the Guardian wanted us to have this. We gotta do something. <laughs> it looks like there's another surprise in store for us. What, to keep us company? Give me a break. Deep, deep, deep. All right, so what do we need to know? What we need to know is first things first. Let's invoke Terror Roar. Let's let's uh, it, re, uh b -b 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 -b. we will re we will get flash hit in place of Terror Roar, and we can add Terror Roar to somebody who needs HP. And, and at this point, I'm think Virginia is the best candidate. She is hurting pretty hard. Um, eventually we'll probably end up giving it to Clive, but she's a good candidate. Let's do some of this. Initiative. Cool. Not that I always want that. That might be something we remove later. Well, that's... Okay, th that's really expensive. So, let's actually... Manually put in that. And for right now, we'll put the rest in Light Ward. Um, she is not doing Defender. Clive could benefit from a counterattack, so we'll give him that for the time being. I'm not committed to that, though. Alright, uh, we should be good with all of that. So, alright, boss time. We need to get Virginia's um, FP to about 25 or so without killing the boss, which can be easier said than done sometimes, but this boss is pretty beastly, so... We should be able to do that pretty pretty quickly. And you're gonna find out why I wanna do it. Well Chris like that ain't gonna make it easier. <laughs> and I'm also wanna get Gallo's FP up as well. And that'll make sense too when we get when we're ready. Hence why he's attacking. Flash Hit is one of the more broken, uh, has one of the more broken spells of the game if you really know how to use it. Um, and it's one of the things that's going to make uh, Virginia very, very powerful. Um, and it's a skill called Valiant. And what Valiant does is you do as much damage as you are down HP. So the lower the character's HP is, the more damage it does. When you combine that with Gatling, I think it's self-explanatory. Um, let's use a lucky card because we are now at that time. I believe we get a little less than a thousand HP in this battle Hence why we're using lucky card um, The other thing we're gonna want to do since gallows has a free turn here We'll use a mini carrot on Virginia. I'm not gonna use them too often But I'm just doing it to ensure that we get this we're also gonna use a gala card and what gala cards do is they double the gala and enemy drops now Oh, you know what? Shoot. I didn't need to use the Lucky Carrot because there's not multiple enemies. So, dang, ding, dong, darn. If there were multiple enemies, we would have had to do it. Shoot. So I wasted a Mini Carrot. That's okay. It gets her FP back up, so when we bust, she'll put, it'll make it closer for her to do Gatling if we need to. But this fight, we're probably not going to need to do it. Doesn't mean I can't do it, though. Attack. Attack. Extension. Converse loss. Okay, yeah. Converse loss vitality into physical strength. Vitality being your HP, not your vitality bar, I, I, I believe. And even if it is, she still has the least, lowest. So we'll have Virginia end this fight with Gatling when her turn comes up, I think. We don't want to take any more unnecessary damage. 
Oh, but somebody needs to use a Galakard. Derp. All right, we'll do that with Jet with Accelerator. And the best part is this applies to everyone. Look at that damage. All right, let's... Eh, it's only two, but we'll do it anyway. He has no money left, so Accelerator... Or he has no bullets left, so... Galakard... Attack... Lock on. This guarantees that we we get the Galakard to kind of take, take place here. And he's down. Sweet. And we get a dark ring. Uh, we get 2,200 Gela instead of 1,100 Gela. And you can see, we st it still says 900 XP, but look at the XP bonus rate. It's now 2.0 instead of 1.0. So yeah, it doubled our XP. This is about the time of the game when you want to start doing it using your lucky cards and we stocked them up so much we don't have to worry about not having them either so look at that almost another that was almost another level where like there was a level and a half not literally because we were almost leveling anyway but it was good stuff what is this big thingamajig I've seen it before. We did see it before. It's the stigma of Phil Guy. Could this be the control device called the chalk? Hey, not bad. You really are an archaeologist. A stigma? And what's a chalk? Getting my voices mixed up. It's kind of like a symbol of sin. The sin committed by mankind. A long time ago, humans used the Guardian Energy to stop the world from decaying. The, this lost prehistoric culture viewed the Guardians as living bioplants and sealed them in rural locales of the world. The world is feeding off this Guardian life force and continues to survive. No, oh, that can't be true. Those bioplants of the time exist today as the Guardian Trans. And we, the people of Baska, uh, the descendants of the plant, protect us. However, even with the power of the Guardian Trines, we were unable to stop the world from decaying. We all know that much too well. <coughs> the power that sustains the world. These words directly signify the existence of Guardians. The Guardians help maintain world balance and acting as a pillar, preserving the planet itself. This thing is like the original sin we continue to carry on our backs. Kind of looks like the thing from the movie Contact. <laughs> Ask him what I mean. Living on this planet means carrying a burden of sin. I know it sounds crazy, but that just gives us more reason to live. We can't let the Guardians of Pork go to waste. Yes, I know. That's why we have to protect the Guardians. Yeah, I hear ya. It's gotta be us. It's gotta be! The more you know... What now? I believe they are trying to buy some more time. Well, well, I don't. We don't have time to adjust to their schedule. Uh oh, another boss battle. And looky, looky, it looks almost like the boss we just fought. And you wait, but wait, there's more. Um, really quick, let's go ahead and before I forget, let's Gelacard this guy. Attack and attack. We want to get everybody else's FP up. Jet, Jets isn't a big rush to do. Now, the interesting thing is this one uses darkness and it is attacks instead of light attacks. So, the other one was a, a light version, light elemental version of the enemy. So, this is the dark elemental version of the enemy. And, ouch. 
So yeah, not gonna be a fun fight necessarily, but we're gonna do what we can. And yes, so you'll see here, we're gonna pop another lucky card. Because why wouldn't you? This is why they're worth holding on to and saving. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the pinnacle point to start using them. And the only reason you wouldn't use them is either A, you don't get a lot of XP, or B, it's a scripted battle and you're not gonna get anything for winning. Those are the, really the only two reasons going forward not to uh, use Gela and Lucky cards against bosses. Sometimes if you're lucky, depending on your level, you can actually do other things with them too, but I'm not gonna, we're not going to bother with that because it's so rare that you get that opportunity. So, Anyway, back to murdering. Let's do an extension of Valiant because he is going to do a lot more damage than his weaker counterpart. And he's got more health, too, so we need to start doing more damage early on here. Now, if a character dies while they have Lucky Card on them, they lose the effect of Lucky Card. So, there are there could be boss fights where I don't use Lucky Card because enemies are flinging instant death around, and we don't have the ward for that yet. That would be when I start making some executive decisions on when and when to when to do it. And yeah, Jet is immune to darkness because he's got the dark elemental thing on him. Let's throw out some Valiant because that'll help Virginia out nicely. As she's taking damage, lots of damage. Sweet! Nice! See, it's just doing a lot of damage and he's uh, reacting to attacks with atta damage attacks, so... He's just making us stronger as we take more damage. So you can see that I have zero complaints about that. Let's go ahead and let Clive reload here. So this is one of those arguments where, like, you may not want to heal someone as long as you know they're not the primary target of an attack. So for, like, this instance here, Virginia's going to be feeling pretty good. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, the other thing. If Gallows is ganged up on, then you stop using Gallows' <laughs> magic attacks and start using his regular attacks, because then it becomes stronger than his magic attacks. It's an interesting kind of balance. It'll all make sense as we get further into the game, and we start using Valiant more frequently with bosses and whatnot. And everybody is obviously going to level from this fight as long as they live, so... Yeah, like having a successful victory of uh, not having characters die is going to be very important. Uh, attack. And we'll do a lock-on. I, I think it'll be fine. If this battle's not over soon. Because Virginia's doing massive damage right now. Because of Valiant. It's strictly because of Valiant. For the most part. I hope he hits Clive. That would really help us. Mm -hmm. Okay, he hit Gallows instead. That'll help us too, because Gallows is taking a beating, so if Jet doesn't kill him, Gallows might. Gallows, yeah, I, I, we'll see. Because Gallows has lost about half of his HP. Though Virginia's lost more. Yep, 523. So you can kind of see that it's a risk-reward boss fight is what you'll start noticing. We, we want our characters to not get healed right away, and then good things will start to happen to them later. So, 1,200 XP, so we actually got 2,400 XP, and uh, we doubled our Gela. And Jet got 2.5. He's catching up because of his immunities. So every time he got attacked, he got a pretty much a .1 of XP going for him, and that puts him ahead of the pack now by about 200 and 220. That's funny. <laughs> See, we, that's why we didn't waste that grab bag, because this kind of stuff happens a lot. And yeah, everybody leveled, and they're halfway to their next level, as far as I'm concerned. What does this have to do with Transform and Felgaia? Are we strong enough to carry this burden? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Program heart... Pro uh, program heart possession complete. Current sequence stability at 168 half HF mock and rising, whatever that means. I don't know what H slash F means. 
Continuing to monitor measurement. Gemini circuit function normal. Recording peripheral phenomenon. Standing by for ana uh, analogism expansion auto level operate OS. Camouflage at 95% completion. Shifting limiter level green to yellow. 318 SF unit till cycle defaults to 70. Everything is clear. Code name to find fortress ready on command. The fortress created. The fortress created by the gods. The legacy of wisdom will finally take shape and activate. One of our goals is, com is achieved. Come before us, divine fortress. Asgard shall be your given name, and you are to shield us from as our ages. I swear I can get this guy's voice somewhat agreed on. The golem Asgard, created from the wisdom of Hades. The hidden sparkle in your arm shall become a barrier capable of withstanding mighty force. Your enemy shall be everyone who stands in our way. Crush all enemies to pieces. Now, come before us. Is that a Mega Man villain? Huh? This piece of junk. Can't this, can this thing really fight? <laughs> it's been programmed for tactical mode. All related options are in place. See to it that Asgard regards this place as a battleground. Hmm. Well, what the? Uh, a contra annihilation barrier. Asgard's main arm, hence the name. Divine Fortress. That's not what I wanted to. That's not what I wanted to know. Why is this clunker attacking me all of a sudden? Can't it distinguish who the enemy is? It's still fresh, so its behavioral parameters may still be unstable. It needs more work. <laughs> Looks like we got off on the wrong foot. Me and him don't seem to get along. Sorry, but I'll pass on the workshop class. Later. <laughs> uh, oh god, it looks like the enemies are growing a small army of uber warriors or dudes or what have you. So it's true, so it's the auto defender system we need to work on. Yes. It's been programmed to attack those with a certain level of fighting spirit as its own at its own discretion. This will be of great use to us. How marvelous. <laughs> There are two types of people in this world. Those who use and those who are used. Janus Cascade. Which might you be? And us. <laughs> I didn't sound too polite or fun. Sounded kind of angry. Alright, so. Nice to know. <laughs> Well, in order for us to continue, we actually got to go make our way back to Little Rock. And kind of, you know, you probably want to heal, rec you know, you know, recover, maybe buy an upgrade or two, whatever we can afford. We, we'll have to look at our finances, but we're at 2961 plus what we can sell uh, as gems, which isn't very much. So we probably only have enough to buy one upgrade. So it might be Clive. Or I'm hoping we have enough to do two, but I highly doubt it. It takes about three grand, so to do both of them, so we're gonna have to pick. It might be in our best interest to swap. Uh, let me see here. Um, you know, let me figure this out really quick. I know we're gonna go just a hair longer than I like to normally go with you guys, but just bear with me. Feeble mind sleep eraser and grav. Uh, well, well, we'll leave. I'm thinking of switching, um, mediums here with, uh, Clive. But a part of me kind of doesn't want to. Because if I do that, that means Jet has access to ma offensive magic. Who actually has the better magic staff? Stat, 70, 55. Okay, so it's actually Clive's a better caster, so it should stay kind of the way it is then. Alright, alright. 
Um, we can also do more with personal skills. No, not that I think we need to, but why not? Uh, Jet's good. Gallows. May as well. Actually, what we could do... Oh, that takes five, and we're not going to have... We don't have enough, so we'll leave it alone. And, and Clive is doing Clive-like things. All right, uh, we're all healed up. Yay! And we need to talk to... Not you. Everybody, you notice everybody's kind of changed their location now, so... We have to find... One of the people in town, I forget who specifically, will send us in the right direction here. No. Let me check over. Where is everyone? Here. Yes. I once heard that the gems are only found near ley lines, the paths of the planet's life force. Why, like ten years ago at the laboratory to the northwest, a bunch of scientists were studying ley lines. They said they were doing it to make the world a better place or something. Alright, so we have our info of where we need to go. Now we gotta make a big decision, but let's sell off our gemstones that we're sitting on right now. Somebody's getting an upgrade, that's for sure. We don't have, yeah, we're not gonna get a lot of money from gems, but at least a thousand bucks. So we're at 21,581. So the thing is, is Jet doesn't have to reload as often. So it kind of warrants Clive getting the upgrade, and Clive naturally does more damage as is. So now he's going to do even more damage, I would say. So we'll do it for Clive. And next time we'll do it for um, for uh, Jet. Um, money's going to start getting more accessible to us. As we fight more bosses, we obviously will get more money for obvious reasons. Anyway, this is a great place for us to stop for the time being, guys. We know where we got to go next which is a uh, the place that is studying ley lines perhaps it is a ley line observatory yes we'll be heading that way in due course of course so thank you guys for stopping by i'm your host the rpg guy like comment subscribe all the good stuff check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash jack turd studios for live gaming action and as always see you guys next time adios y'all wait that wasn't right whatever we'll see you guys next time <laughs>